name is Jacob Holden, work with BLM. I am a, in the student employment program. Um, been doing that for a couple years. And this previous summer, I had the privilege and the opportunity to do this wilderness project, uh, visit all the BLM wilderness areas, uh, nine specifically, one up in Washington, which was the Juniper Dunes, and eight here in Oregon. Started the project in mid-June um, down in southern Oregon at the Soda Mountain Wilderness and then ventured off to the Wild Rogue Wilderness in southern Oregon before early July, I would say, because then I kind of hit the road uh, venturing out doing the other wilderness areas throughout Oregon. Um, I guess initially I knew that each wilderness area would be unique and have its own individual qualities. I just didn't really know what that uniqueness was or what those qualities would be. And these wilderness areas I had never visited before. Um, so upon arriving to them or seeing them for the first time, I was kind of in awe of these areas because it's totally different landscape than what I'm used to growing up and living in Southern Oregon, uh, heading over to Eastern Oregon or up to the dunes in Washington or even the Badlands outside of Bend, which is kind of a desert environment, desert environment with those juniper trees that I had never seen before. So it's just each individual unique landscape, uh, being able to hike through those and spend multiple days uh, taking pictures, just kind of being there in that area, in that moment, was unique in itself and very enjoyable. Um, I gave myself at least a week for each wilderness area, uh, arriving on a Monday and then going out to the field Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and leaving Friday afternoon or Friday morning. Uh, so. Upon arriving in the wilderness areas, I'd kind of get a game plan, I guess you would say, of what I wanted to do, which trailheads I wanted to visit, which trails I wanted to hike, which points in particular I wanted to hike to, um, kind of get the layout of the land. And then later in the week, I would spend most of my days um, from sunrise till like late afternoon or late morning, I guess you would say, working. And then working in the evening because I found the lighting to be better in the early morning or late evening. So kind of laid low during the day, try to find shade because it was summer months and I'd get pretty hot. So most of my work consisted from sunrise and then working until sunset um, with that break in between. And I did that for three or four days. I would hike out into the wilderness area, stay overnight. So I would wake up in the wilderness and uh, start my work then and there. Um, if you're headed out to the wilderness, you definitely want to think about your equipment that you're going to bring. If you're doing an overnight hike out into the wilderness, you want to be definitely aware of everything that's going to be on your back that you're carrying because weight does matter. Um, also with photography equipment, I guess uh, you need to decide if you want to bring a tripod or not because those can be bulky. Uh, just make sure you have enough food, um, water most importantly. Uh, your sleeping equipment, whether it's just a tent and a pad or sleeping bag, hammock, that sort of thing. Um, I was always prepared with maps, compass, and GPS. I would always log in uh, the trailhead so I could always get back to that point. And uh, then just having the confidence to get out there. And whether you're on trail or off trail, uh, you need to know that you are in a remote wilderness location. Um, I felt most connected to the wilderness area um, when I was done doing all my traveling. Uh, when I was traveling, I was just kind of in that area. You know, I was working but also enjoying it at the same time. And I was on the road for about six weeks covering six wilderness areas. So upon my return back to my Medford district, I had finished up these six different wilderness areas. 
and uh, as I'm putting all these photos onto the computer, you know, I'm going through seeing all these different places that I've visited where I have been, and uh, it kind of made me realize the depth of my exploration, and uh, I may never see these places again, and it was a pretty great experience to see all the different variety and places that I've been. If I had to pick one to go back to, it would be the Table Rock Wilderness. Um, I enjoyed it, just the, the hiking and the views, um, the unique and abundance of plant life. It was in the middle of the summer and it was still such green vegetation uh, walking through there. The, the summer months it's shaded on trails so you're able to keep cool. Um, relatively close to the wilderness areas there's camping and river use. I actually plan to go back in the summer with some friends just to show them where I've been but also give them that experience as well.